Hi everyone. So Save the Children sent me this calendar um, for 2020 and I wanted to show you what it is. Um, this is the cover photo which um, the people, the sponsors who Save the Children had actually chosen to be the cover photo. And then this is a picture of a lady. It says um, she visits children in the Hurricane Harvey mega shelter in Houston. You help provide baby cribs and other essential supplies to help families in need see that there and then this is for September October of 2019 it says uh, donors selected this photo of six-year-old Athman to feature in this year's calendar um, Athman's love of soccer is well known in his home the Syrian refugee camp you help make possible Athman enjoys sharing the ball shooting the ball scoring goals and playing with his friends outside his house he has big dreams for himself hoping to become a professional soccer player when he grows up and then this is November, December of 2019. And about the picture, it says, Young children hold up their new toothbrush and toothpaste during a dental kit distribution at their school in El Salvador. Save the Children helps children develop healthy hygiene such as proper hand washing, toothbrushing, and waste management. These good habits can promote lifelong wellness. And then this is for January of 2020. Um, it says, you help babies get the checkups they need to stay healthy, like two-month-old Rutipa in the Mahama refugee camp in Rwanda. Over 27,000 children have lived in this camp in the last five years. Your generosity helps protect vulnerable children, expand health services for them, and send them to school. <clears throat> and then this one is for February 2020. It says, four-year-old Hadir and her sister Malak, age five, enjoy learning and playing at the new preschool that opened recently near their home in Egypt's Abnu district. Save the Children worked with local organizations to open 18 newly accredited early childhood centers in the area. You help provide young children like Malak with a quality head start in life. March of 2020, my birthday month. There's the picture. It says, after escaping the war in Syria with her family, four-year-old Farah lives in an informal refugee settlement you help provide in Lebanon. There is no heat in the tent she calls home. Farah is happy to have her winter coat, and she likes to stay warm by running around outside and playing in the sunshine. Thanks to all of your votes, this is the no this is the runner-up calendar photo. Like I just was explaining about the, the voting. April of 2020... And then this one says, four-year-old Alice from Liberia was named after the midwife who delivered her. She's one of more than 800 children named Alice in honor of the, this life-giving woman. Your support helps build new facilities and private training to others like Alice. You also help deliver critical supplies to care for mothers and their children. And then that's a picture of Alice, the midwife that 800 children are named after. And then this is May of 2020 can see the picture there and this one says days are long and filled with work but this mother and her sweet six-month-old baby find a moment to connect and snuggle in the democratic republic of the congo which by the way is the poorest country in the entire world um i think save the children might be the only organization where you can sponsor children from um Dominican Republic of the Congo. I could be wrong, but I think it is because I've gone through all the different organizations and I don't remember seeing any other ones. Um, but then again, I wasn't really looking for that country. So if you decide you want to sponsor a child, you can look into that as well. Um, and then it says, thanks to the generosity of caring friends like you, mothers and children have vital medical help. My vital medical care to help reduce the risk of life threatening conditions and to keep them safe and healthy. And then there's June of 2020. Um, Dia Caridia loves to ride on the shoulders of his father, Mamudo. When he's not caring for his son, Mamudo is the director of the local school in the Casano village in Mali. You help educate children by providing teacher support and other school necessities. Dia Caridia is excited to start school. He loves learning almost as much as spending time with his dad. And this is July, and it says, Nine-year-old Heaven in Tennessee enjoys playing outside at recess during Summer Boost Camp, a camp-like environment with, full, with a full day of fun activities to help her continue learning. 
to, you help make important educational opportunities possible for children, like skills, knowledge, and behaviors. Heaven gain heaven gains. Oh, the skills, knowledge, and behaviors heaven gains will help her develop healthy habits and encourage her to success her success in school. Save the Children also um, does sponsorships for the United States, which I think is one of the few organizations that does that. Um, I think Child Fund has children in the United States as well, so if you want to sponsor someone from there, those are the two places that do it. Um, I think they're the only ones. And then here's August of 2020, and this one says, You help children like Diego and Abraham attend a unique program in El Salvador that helps boys change their thinking about conventional gender roles. Their mindset shift helps them grow up believing in education and rights for girls. Sorry, my dog put his tail in the way. Um, so they can become lifelong advocates for equality. And then this one is... Wait, that's not the one I want. Come on, September. Here's the picture for September. And this says, you provide child-friendly spaces in Mexico for girls and boys whose families are traveling across Central America on foot in search of a better life. Living on the road is difficult, especially for young children. Through your generosity gifts, generous gifts, you help provide respite from the long journey along with safe, activated, and important protection. And then here's October. Sorry, my kid is singing in the background. It says, These young girls in Afghanistan enjoy playing a traditional game called Baba Zanjirbaf. As they sing, one child tries to break apart from the human chain the girls have formed. So, it's kind of like the, I don't know if you ever played Red Rover when you were younger, but that sounds like kind of what this game is that they're doing in Afghanistan. It says, the game teaches an important lesson. The group is stronger when the girls stick together. You help empower girls around the world every day so they can have a stronger, brighter future. You see them there. And then this one is November of 2020. Isn't he cute? Um, every year, many poor... Ne 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 Nepalese from Nepal families migrate to the brick kilns of Kathmandu to work in harsh, dangerous conditions. Even the older children work to help families earn more. Your support helps set up and run daycare centers, providing a safe place, nutritious food, and learning for the smallest children who otherwise would have no place to go while families work. And then December of 2020. And this says... Siramani, age six, laugh as he plays with friends at the early childhood program in Mali that focuses on physical, cognitive, and social, emotional, and language skills of these children. You help make activities like interactive games, songs, storytelling, social interaction, and outdoor play possible and provide trained teachers who help make sure children grow and thrive. So that's basically um, that's basically the calendar that Save the Children sent me. I really like that, so I now have a calendar for 2020, and I don't have to buy one. So um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks.